so excited for uh, this is Monday music class slash Monday school. Um, so for Miriam, <laughs> Miriam music Monday school, we're going to be reading a book my dad got me. Uh, it's called When Miriam Sings. Thank you, Dad. I did this on Speaker Studio, but I didn't get a chance to do it on here. And that's her in the choir robe. And I was going to put my choir robe on today. I'll probably do it on the next video. Uh, so this is by Robert, by Pam, Ryan, picture by Brian. Okay. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. All right. And before I start, I'm going to sing a song. I got a lot going on, guys. And I have my water with me. Ah, ha, ha. From Queen, this is a representative of Queen Sheba and Queen Esther, because I have to warn the people, I had to warn the people about the Hitler stuff going on there. I'm doing a lot of things. Um, I got to still be me. I still got to be Shalish. I still got to be Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa. I got to be Miriam, and I got to be Queen Sheba, Sarah, probably Martha, and all everybody wrapped up in one, so that's why it's a lot going on here. And don't forget that just water but you know these are peculiar times and then I'm gonna be starting a parents class it's a lot going on for the boot camp uh, reality Mount Olive boot camp reality it's a lot going on All right, so I'm gonna be playing a tambourine and my favorite song that I sung for church uh, for testimony service to get saved souls from hell I'm doing the will of God is Jesus I'll never forget here we go up the camera a little bit so I'm not going to be doing that pretty much. Anyway, I don't have a lot of time but I'm really going to cover the book, uh, the Marion book. Where did we go? <laughs> Alright, so I got a lot going on here. I was supposed to cover a lot of stuff today. <sighs> okay, so we're talking about her. This is probably an example of me in the choir <laughs> and my brother Moses. Uh, I miss him. I haven't heard from him yet. So hopefully uh, he's not, he's, he's busy enough, he'll call. So I'm going to continue with what God, focus on what God has for me <laughs> until God permits. And look at this. So I have his, I have the phone ready for him. I can't even focus on this until I'm just, I'm just really excited. But look at those pictures. This is called Miriam Sings. Okay, I'm going to take this cover off here. It's like a cover to it. I'm going to take that off. It's, that's really cool. It actually looks like my Nike shirt, but I can't wear the Nike anymore because I know what's going on with that. But anyway, okay. Okay, look at that. Look how nice that is. Okay, so it was her range of notes that caused all of the commotion with one breath. She sounded like a ring sprinkling high notes in the morning sun and with the next she was thunder resounding deep in a dark sky okay wow look how nice that is all right so no one was surprised that Marion loved to sing after all she listened to her father singing in the morning as he dressed mother often hummed while she worked in the kitchen and sometime Mary and her little sister Ethel may sang songs all afternoon, which is weird to have an aunt named uh, Aunt Ethel. Um, my dad sings a lot. My dad used to sing for a choir, and my mom sings as well, and she used to win talent shows. So we have that in our blood. And she loves to sing in the choir. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with all my face to rising sun of the Lord, 
have mercy on me. However, her voice was uh, distant, uh, strong, and uh, able to climb more than 24 notes. Everyone wanted to hear Miriam sing. I just remember this as a little girl doing this. And, you know, preaching to my teddy bears, singing to my teddy bears. I just remember all this. Probably when, probably why my dad got this book from me. <laughs> he thinks I'm still his little girl, which I'll always be his little girl. And then this is probably like my sister. We used to sing together. Uh, it just that's, that's similar. It looks similar to my life. I just like how... I just like how, like... Like mom singing and then dad's getting dressed. That remind me of my dad going to work and my mom. My dad liked my mom to stay home and take care of us. Oh my God, this is so cool. Okay, so the Lord is in his holy temple. Let us all of the earth. So she's holding her sister hand. Kind of reminds me of me and my sister. God bless her in Jesus name. Uh, Alexander Robertson, the choir director at the Union Baptist Church in the South uh, Philadelphia, wanted to hear Miriam sing, even though she was not quite eight years old and, and sometimes sang too loud. <laughs> he asked her to perform a duet with her friend Viola Johnson as Viola sang the high part and Miriam sang the low. Their harmony blended like a silk braid. Isn't that, isn't that nice? They sung dear to dear to the heart of shepherds, dear are the sheep of his fold, dear is the love that he gives them, dearer than silver and gold. This one is, I go back to the one uh, with the Marian. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together. On our knees, when I fall on my knees, with my face to rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. That's so cute. <laughs> All right, so. This is the choir. This is my view. That remind me of my choir. That's so cool. I should have been with my choir rope doing this. The Marian sang it was often with her eyes closed at it. Find the music within the audience heard not only words, but feeling too spirited. Worship, tender, affection, and nothing short of joy. She was chosen for the celebration people chorus, a hundred voices from all the black church choirs in Philadelphia. She was one of the youngest members and had to stand at the chair so those in the back could see the pride of South Philadelphia. Her father was proud to be protective. He didn't want anyone taking advantage of his child. Father's love made Miriam feel important when he died after injury of reading terminal where he uh, sold ice. Tragedy filled Marian heart and sometimes her in her song. So her father died. I just remember that shirt I had on with the stars. So that's Marion here. And that reminds me of me and the choir just singing. I think that's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for giving that book. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sing what Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Oh oh were you there, were you there, when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there, when they laid him in the tomb? I never heard of that, but I, I'm going to have to look that up. Oh, oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there, when they lay him in the tomb? Oh... Were you there when they lay him in the tomb? Were you there when they lay him in the tomb? Oh, 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 were you there? Oh, 
Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they lay him into? Oh, you know, it's so amazing because this is how I actually, my grandmother holds her hand. This is how I usually hold my hand too when I'm, I'm usually out in public always usually hold my hand like this. I have pictures of me. You know, it's just, it just, just, this is just beautiful. So I hope you enjoy Marion's Monday Music School. All right, so Mother was happy for Marion. And success, but reminded her that no matter uh, what she studied to take a little extra time and do it well, Marion didn't need extra encouragement when it came to singing. She practiced her part in each song and often learned all the other parts too. For her music was serious business, and more than anything, she hoped to someday go to music school. I'm doing music school now. Oh, my God. Guys, when I read this book, I, I don't remember. That was months ago. All right. So church members promised tuition for our Miriam if she would accept it. So I'm taking my time. I'm taking my time with the book. So this is her. Oh, my God. Here, This is her at music. Oh, my God. God works. Oh my God, God definitely have everything on order. Precept against precept. So this is the music school. Isn't that cool? Look at Marion. Oh my God, so she's dreaming of music school. How cool is that? All right. So since father's death, Marion worked at an odd job and sang in a concert program in order to help support her family. It wasn't until 1915 when Marion uh, was 18 that she finally went to music school and patiently went in line for her application but the girl behind the counter helped everyone except Marion she was invisible finally the girl said we don't take colored her voice sounded like a steel door slanting shut so she couldn't go to music school because of her color and I just want to share something with you when I took music class in school I would always get a five I could not the notes, I am not good with notes. I sing by ear. So I just have to, I'm not, that's not my gift um, to learn by note. Okay. So that's like the tough thing is not being able to, thank you, God. Cheers to God. Thank you, God. You want some water? But uh, that's, uh, I used to get fives. So I do not know, I can't be a music teacher like that because I don't know notes. So that's why it, it's music school on YouTube. Thank God for YouTube because if I had to go and pass a test for notes, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to, to do it. So this is her mother comforting her, kind of like what my mom does. I have a great mother. Marianne knew about prejudice. She had seen the trolley drive past her family as they stood at the corner. She knew that her people were away the last to be helped in the store. But she could not understand how anyone who was surrounded by spirits, beauty of uh, music, uh, could be so narrow-minded. So her mother's comfort her after she basically felt invisible, and that's how I felt. Invisible, not getting my dream pursued. But I am thank God that I, I really feel really good now. I just, I'm not going to complain. Financially, okay, she felt sick in her stomach and in her heart. Didn't they know that her skin was different, but her feeling were the same. So, like I, when I was talking about being Miriam, and this is Miriam, um, Marion. This is her name is Marion. I'm Miriam with the M. Okay. And, okay, she felt sick in her stomach and her heart didn't, they know that her skin was different. Okay, couldn't she be a professional singer if she was a Negro? And with unwavering faith, Mother told her that there would be another way to accomplish what would have been done at that school. So, Marion believed her mother and she took voice lessons in her own neighborhood, continuing with choir and uh, sometimes perform at the Negro churches and colleges. So she still went on. Her mother's like, you can still go on to do other things. 
So that's kind of like here. This is here. So we're, time is up. We're going to have a part two on uh, music school. So Miriam's music school or Queen Sheba music school, which one we'll call it. God bless you.